It's a calling, not of ignoble ease, but of the strenuous life. It's a mission that states that the highest form of success comes not to the man who desires mere easy peace, but to the man who does not shrink from danger, from hardship or from bitter toil, and who out of these wins the splendid ultimate triumph. It's a career that teaches that a life that springs from a desire to strive after great things is as worthy of a nation as of an individual. Welcome to Sainik School, Amaravati Nagar, Tamil Nadu. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Founded in 1962 in a sprawling 199 acre campus, Sainik School is snuggled amidst the western ghats of the Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary, 90 kilometers from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. It's an English medium residential school for boys that is run by the Ministry of Defense, Government of India, with the active participation of the respective state governments by way of infrastructural and scholarship support. The school provides public school education with a military bias up to the plus two level following the Central Board of Secondary Education syllabus. Sainis schools or CBSC based public schools run by Ministry of Defence, Government of India with the support of the local state governments. The primary aim of Sainis schools is basically to remove the regional imbalance in the officers' cadres of Indian Armed Forces. In addition to that, they also act as a feeder institutions to National Defence Academy and also the other academies of Armed Forces. So far, the Sainis School Amaravadi Nagar produced more than 400 officers in Indian Armed Forces. In addition to this, there are so many other leaders it has produced in other walks of life such as IAS, IPS, IFS, engineers, you name any field, there the Amoravians doing wonderful job. The Indian Armed Forces epitomizes the ideals of service, sacrifice, patriotism and our country's composite culture. The primary aim of the 24 Sainik schools who will one day, as commissioned officers, lead the defence services of the country. I am Major Sriram. I have been awarded the highest gallantry award this year. It is all because of my alma mater, Sainik School, Amaravadi Nagar. Sainik School 
as an institution is complete right from uh, the education the physical part and the extracurricular activities apart from that the bonding of amravian which is a milestone Sainik schools seek to develop cadets who are academically sound, physically fit, mentally tough, and socially well-balanced individuals. Men of fine character, with their noble hearts brimming with patriotism and team spirit. Soldiers and sailors and aviators, zealous in their dedication, dedicated to the purpose of serving their beloved country. Amravati Nagar has over a time built some really wonderful values and traditions like camaraderie, esprit de corps, respect for seniors, fitness of body and mind, never giving up or surrendering in the face of adversity, fending for oneself. Traditions too play a vital part in the education and molding the personality of a cadet. They also imbue the young man with a sense of history and pride in his alma mater. Catch them young. The old adage is always true. Little boys join the Sainik school in class 6 on completion of age 10. And young lads in class 9 when they've just turned 13. They say, in action, a great heart is the chief qualification. In work, a great head. To prove that they are endowed with both, these young Turks have to clear the All India Sainik School entrance examination purely on merit, followed by a rigorous medical test and an insightful interview. We are coming from Virupura. And uh, he is my second son. <laughs> Once he told about the school and he himself searched in computer.com everything about the sign school. He researched himself and I am sure he will get to uh, hear this. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It flows from an indomitable will of a small body of determined spirits, fired by an unquenchable faith, faith that their lives can alter the course of history, can do it. That's the motto of Sainik School that reflects these very tenets. It imbibes in young minds early on in their formative years the difference between what they do and what they are capable of doing. So it is born upon them to strive, strive to achieve. Uh, I'm Air Marshal S. Vartaman. I joined the school on the very first day in 1962 and uh, passed out through uh, Pandya and uh, Pallava House in uh, 1968. Thereafter, I joined the uh, National Defense Academy, did my flying training in the Air Force and uh, became a fighter pilot in the Air Force. The school has been the very foundation for me. The staff, the curriculum, the environment, and uh, the quality of education that has been given has given me the strength to do well in the service that I've chosen. Jai Hind. The four houses under which all cadets are grouped are named after the four great Tamil dynasties, Chera, Chora, Pandya and Pallava. Interhouse competition in all curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities is tough yet friendly. Chera House, the bow and arrow is their symbol, blue is their color and ever onward is their motto. Chora House, the tiger is their symbol, red is their color and duty and piety is their motto. Pandya House, fish is their symbol, yellow is their color, and dispel fear is their motto. 
Pallava house. The lion is their symbol, green is their color, and ever truthful is their motto. Sunny school basically is meant for making leaders out of a common man. When the cadets come to Sunny school, they come at the age of 10 to 11, and they are just small children. They are developed here at the age of 13 to 14. They come to the adolescent age, and when they start showing their ability, here is the place where they get all the opportunity to show what are the qualities they have got. Rather, I would say that this is the place where they have got all the facilities to develop or imbibe all training which is required to become a leader in all walks of life. The hardest blow of all is to hear the bugler's call. But you gotta get up. You gotta get up this beautiful morn, all young boys, big and small. Because the secret of your future lies hidden after all in this daily order that is so very tall. The revile is sounded at 0515 hours. Health run, PT exercises, yoga and band practice. Breakfast at 0730 hours. Followed by the morning assembly. an interactive class talk. Routine classes start at 0820 hours. A sumptuous lunch at 13.30. School of Pathy Nasurano of Dina in a school day lame. In a 1978 like Kampong Grove, remote village there in the Naskula joined money. 1978 like joined money, 86 la passed out on it. At present, I am working as district munsef at Kongay. Signing school is always the dimension. One hour a day is set aside for practicals, hobbies, and coaching between 1500 hours and 1600 hours. This is followed by games at 1610 hours. Supervised evening studies begin at 1800 hours and go on up to 2020 hours. Then it's time for an elegant a la carte dinner at 2030 hours. Twenty two hundred hours is lights off for juniors and twenty three hundred hours for seniors. It's arguable that much of what a student learns in school they learn in the dormitories. Here they will share a significant growing experience with fellow students who are going through the same things as they are, creating bonds that often last well after their schooling years. The 10 exclusive dormitories are monitored for discipline, punctuality, turnout, personal hygiene and the development of leadership qualities. These dormitories which are provided with solar water heaters, telephones and water dispensers are also serviced by an on-campus laundry. It has become four years since I've joined the school and when I joined the school in 600 I was just a fresher. I didn't know much about the outside world and did not know what are my abilities. 
This school helps me to realize my abilities in myself. In many schools, they just look into the bookish knowledge. They don't give, they don't enhance, they don't emphasize over the all-round development of the carrots. And this school helps us in all-round development. Aristotle once said that those who educate children well are more to be honored than parents, for these only gave life, those the art of living well. Every member of the teaching faculty at Sainik School endeavors to live up to that honor by providing plenty of opportunity to bring out the cadet's inherent academic talent and the spirit of sportsmanship. Their experience supervisory and guiding abilities are modeled and adapted to have a powerful impact on the cadets learning and character encouraging them to grapple with ethical issues early on to reinforce the idea that integrity is everything in their young lives i am dr t balsurmanian former student of science school namrabnagar i joined the school in 1972 and passed out in 1980 Presently, I am working as Associate Professor in Cardiology in Tanjore Medical College. One generation of our family members have studied in science school. And present day, we are doing very well in our career as doctors. I have put both my children in science school. And I hope that in future, both of them will do very well in the career they choose. Co-curricular activities at Sainik School are designed to help the cadets transit from a rather insular view of themselves and the world towards a more defined and pluralistic one. As they move along this continuum of cognitive and personal development, they imbibe a sense of purpose by virtue of which they are able to formulate personal and intellectual growth, define career goals and develop competence. At Sainik School, it is mandatory for every cadet to join a hobby club and also to take part in adventure activities. Indeed, for many cadets, club activities present an opportunity to experiment in activities that may represent a career interest. Adventure is a state of mind. It's an attitude that helps us face obstacles present in our daily routine. The challenges we have to deal with. The new and different options that life offers. The unknown that is at all times awaiting. This represents an adventure in itself. And it is in this adventure that the cadets discover themselves. Assemblies offer many opportunities to add value to the school day and richness to the school community. It's a time to come together to have shared experiences. It's a time to celebrate achievements, seasons and festivals. And as problems cannot be solved at the same level of consciousness that created them, it gives students an opportunity to step back and consider bigger issues and to see things from a different perspective.
In sports, it's not that you won or lost, but how you played the game. And that the most important thing is not winning, but taking part. Sportsmanship is an attitude that strives for fair play, courtesy towards teammates and opponents, ethical behavior, integrity, and grace in victory or defeat. The physical training instructors, coaches, and every teacher at the Sainik schools inculcate these timeless virtues in every cadet's life as he goes on to conquer some 36 play fields and sports arena, all of them in campus. Leaders of tomorrow, filled with national pride and patriotic fervor. That's what the National Cadet Corps, NCC, a tri-services organization comprising of the Army, Navy and the Air Force, delivers. The NCC senior wing at Sainik School grooms every member of its student community into such leaders. Cadets appear for the NCC A, B and C certificate examinations during their tenure at Sainik School. They are also sent to various levels of NCC training camps and the best among them go to participate in the prestigious Republic Day Parade at New Delhi. At Sainik School, NCC Day is celebrated with great pomp and gusto every year. My name is uh, Davidson Deva Sirvadam. I joined Sainik School Amravati Nagar in the year 1979. I left school in 1986. I hail from a small village called Mudalur in Tutukuran district, hailing from an agricultural family. I was studying in a Tamil medium school till my father decided to put me in this school. I came here, it was a totally a different environment for me, where I was exposed to so much of activities, not only in the field of academics, but also in the field of sports, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. I feel that was one of the greatest moments of my life. The seven years that I spent in this school was marvelous. All the kind of leadership qualities that school has inculcated in me the past seven years has really shaped me to be extremely good. Today, I stand before all of you as a police officer. Sending cadets to the National Defense Academy is the primary aim of the Sainik schools. To this end, basic skills are drilled into the young cadets by the Sainik school teachers, personnel of the Army Physical Training Corps and officers from the Tri-Services. Prior to the UPSC examination, the school conducts certain preparatory capsules with a view to prepare all these prospective candidates to be successful in the assessment. Capsule containing interview technique, psychology technique and the GTO technique which the candidates will be put through in the services selection board subsequently or exposed to them. Here there is a difference between preparing them and coaching them. Coaching them will only make them obtain certain preconceived rigid fixed values. Whereas with a view to exercise their mind optionally as the circumstances would vary in the situations, they are not coached, they are only prepared, they are allowed to think, correct themselves and learn the right things at the right time.
development of leadership traits, officer-like qualities and absolute physical fitness is paramount in their collective approach. From developing skills in public speaking to situational reaction and response. From coping with stress to improving one's temperament. From maintaining punctuality to observing table manners. Every ability and skill that will go to separate the boys from the men later on in their lives are systematically inculcated right from day one. I am Raja Upanan. I have cleared my UPSC examinations and got through the services selection board. Nearly thousands and thousands of candidates have been interviewed and finally only about 300 to 400 are selected and I am one among them. The whole credit goes to my school which has given me encouragement and confidence. The Parents Teachers Association is active and vibrant at the Sainik School. Meeting twice a year its highly interactive sessions between parents and teachers has been an effective and supportive forum for the maintenance of the discipline as well as sustenance of academic excellence in the campus. The feedback loop is maintained by permitting parents to visit their wards every second Sunday. Appraisal of their child's academic performance and other activities is crucial during these visits. The Cadets Mess at Sainik School is a unique symbol of unity, solidarity and brotherhood. 700 plus cadets breaking bread together is a heartwarming sight and conjures up images of belongingness, bonding and deep-rooted attachments. Both vegetarian and non-vegetarian food is served here a la carte. All food is planned and tested for quality, quantity, calories and taste. The medical inspection room, MI room at Sainik School almost functions like an in-campus mini command hospital, so to speak. With 20 beds and an ambulance, it's staffed and equipped to handle any emergency round the clock. My name is Sho uh, Dr. Shobha Vartaman. I'm married to A. Marshall S. Vartaman, who is an old student of Sainik School, Amravati Nagar. Um, I think the school had uh, definitely shaped him so very well that he has now been very productive and uh, he could give very much to the community as well as to the Air Force. It has infused camaraderie in us. The Language Lab at Sainik School seeks to initiate a new approach to the concept of language and language learning. Drawing on the experience of experts in this field, it helps the cadets to keep pace with the changing trends in the global linguistic landscape and focuses on developing usable and practical language skills. Amateur radio or ham radio is practiced by more than 16,000 licensed users in India. Sainik School has its own licensed ham club. It's an exciting activity that educates cadets in radio communication and how to play a heroic role during emergencies and coordinate disaster management.
Research has proved that school libraries have a positive impact on student achievement. Students with access to a well-supported school library scored higher on reading, writing and oratorical assessments regardless of their socio-economic status. The library at Sainik School provides a range of learning opportunities to individual cadets with a focus on intellectual content and developing a temperament for research. So, if an Amaravian does his best, what else is there? His is the will to win and the sure knowledge that in war there is no substitute for victory. To him, it's always duty, honor and country. These young gentlemen cadets are trained to drink deep from the chalice of courage. With fortitude, Invincible determination. Patriotic self-denial. Name and fame are their birthright. In their youth and strength, their love and loyalty, they are taught to give all that they can for their fellow men. Defend, guard, and protect their country's hallowed traditions. Of liberty and freedom, of right and justice. Jai Hind!